Hi everyone, it's Andrea and welcome to Andrea's Attic, uh, the colouring channel. <laughs> uh, just a quick disclaimer, this is an video made for adults. It's in no way, shape or form made for or intended for children. So that done, we're going to be colouring our Halloween picture because it's Halloween today. I'm filming this on the 30th, but for you guys, when you see it, it will be Halloween. So happy Halloween. And um, we'll be colouring in Chibi Girl's Halloween colouring book and we're going to do this uh, picture here. Um, I must admit I'm almost all Halloween down, but hey, it's going to be Christmas and we'll be all Christmas down, so I'm going to cute this little, cute little witch and see how we get on with it. Anyway, I hope you are all okay. I'm fine. I've uh, been busy working, obviously, and looking after Jennifer and all that good stuff. So... I'm going to be using the Touch High Skin Tones, or the Touch New Skin Tones, and the RTZ Blend Markers. And I haven't put paper in between it, I'll just be right back. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I'm not having a good day, I've got to be honest. But hey, we're sorted now, let's crack on. Anyway, I hope you're alright and staying safe. I know Halloween is not going to be the same as it normally is, and I think that it's a great shame, but unfortunately, it is what it is. I don't know what it's like out in the States, what you're going to be doing but they are saying no trick-or-treating in the UK. People are trying to find ways around it and sorting out um, different ways for people to actually still go around collecting treats and stuff, but um, I don't, I don't think so. Um, I don't think, well, we didn't really have anybody last year to be honest, so I don't think we will this year either, especially with everything that's going on. I wouldn't want Jennifer going out trick-or-treating this year. As if you can hear her, I do apologise. She is kicking off. She does not want to be in bed. It's because she had a doze this afternoon. She will eventually go to sleep. If you can hear other chatting that's not Jennifer in the background, it is because I am watching a documentary of um, an ancient Egypt programme. Uh, a timeline which is a history, history series and uh, yeah it's got lots of different uh, history bits in it so I'm watching that well it's on in the background so I have been watching quite a lot of spooky stuff so I'm glad I'm not like I said I'm not going to finish all my whips but I, like I said I'm going to I'm, if you watch weekly vlog it'll be in there next week I am going to carry on finishing off my Halloween pictures and Beauty of Horror, I haven't finished anything in there when uh, we roll into November um, there are some which ones that you can colour any, any year so I'm not worried about them and I haven't done any of the other whips, I'm going to try and do a few of those next week, try and get rid of as many as I can before uh, New Year rolls around now you may have noticed that I have now been um, able to monetize my videos so I do hope that doesn't bother you too much I do hope you will still watch the videos um, the only reason I'm really monetizing the account is to help buy new supplies and books to keep the channel content interesting and fresh and also hopefully um, be able to do some giveaways as well which I want to do but I've never really had any interest in them I've always said that I'll do an ask me anything but nobody ever really responds, so I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. Like I said, if you want to do a colour long, long next month, I'll be colouring in Cutesy Christmas from Colouring Heaven, among other things. Um, we'll be using Tattoo Grey Scales, Volume 2, by Jade Summer. If you want to join me for that, you can colour along with that if you want. You don't have to, it's just thought it'd be nice. If you want to do that, that would be nice. Let me know in the comments below if you've got uh, those books or if you've got a book you'd like to see me colour in. Um, if I've got it, I'll do it. And if not, I'll put it on my list to get. If I can get it, I will. So, but we'll have to see how it goes. I won't be monetizing the weekly vlogs um, just because Jennifer appears in them. So they're likely to get flagged as inappropriate because it's got a child in it. So uh, she doesn't appear in any of these. So that's fine. She can, she can, I can monetize these ones. Um, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry too much about 
uh, the rest of it. So, like I said, I've got a couple of other whips I'm going to try and finish. I get overload with a particular theme, Christmas or Halloween, so that's why next month, although I'm going to start in the Christmas book, I might do, I think it's, a, I mean they have another Christmas book coming out next month and I'll see what that is as well, because that comes out on the non-subscription, so I'm saying I'm going to start it, but I might not, I don't know yet, it depends on how I feel, I might just uh, wait and see. I want to have a month of carrying whatever, whatever I want, so there's a few books I've coloured in before I want to colour in again, and before we start the Christmas colour along stuff, I know some people have already started their Christmas pictures. Um, I'll just start it on December 1st because I'll just get burnout out like I do with Halloween. That's why I've been trying to, to, I've been doing a lot of patterns as well this month. I can still hear Jennifer. Oops. Oh, never mind. Did that wrong? Never mind. <laughs> oh, I'm not really. I am not doing very well today, I'm not gonna lie. <sighs> it's just very hard sometimes to feel feel it for a whole month. I know some people that really love oh she's off Halloween and Christmas and they can just colour it all year round but not me I need to break it up but like I said I'm happy to um, carry on with the whips I've got into the next month and finish those off that's my plan I'm going to just do the whips of the only new pictures I'm really going to start are going to be the ones in the um colour and chat to start with and when I've finished off the whips I want to finish I'll I'll do it because I'm still doing that picture in the book Serene I haven't done anything on that for ages so I might try and finish that off soon this might be a fairly long video because I'm going to try and do pretty much all this picture in one go so I do apologize if this one is a long one Like I said, if you don't like monetization, I am trying to put it so that there's one skippable ad, one non-skippable, because uh, that way you only have to sit through the one. Uh, strange we got another week of lockdown here and it does break my heart every day when Jennifer says can we go to Nana's and I have to say no I'm going to turn this off for a minute just doing my head in so just put that on stop um oh that's bad it's nice and quiet now she asks to see her Nana and Grandpa every day and we can't go now her other nana can come and see her because her other nana's on her own and the rule is that you can form an extended household if you've got somebody who's living on their own or a single parent with children so at least Paul gets to see his mum. I mean I talk to my mum twice a day every day anyways, once in the morning, once in the evening just to make sure everybody's happy and safe and which they are and I just miss them like for a few minutes we don't, we don't have long chats we just like check in <sighs> waiting to see what uh, the Welsh government is going to announce after on Monday with regards to 
uh, coming out of lockdown on the 9th because they're um, saying they're not going to have uh, local lockdowns anymore. It's all going to be one thing across the entire country. But we'll have to see what that is. But there's no way I'm not going to go again, not seeing my mum for months and months. I don't go anywhere other than to the shop to do my food shopping. That's it. And I take Jennifer to nursery. Sometimes I drive out if I've got my car. It needs a new battery. Um, so that's being done tomorrow. And then I've got my new car, get my car back. I'll be driving her back down to nursery so we don't come into contact with anyone. I only go shopping. I only go into the other shop if I absolutely have to. Like when I got parcels to post, sometimes Paul's dropping them in in the mornings if we've got the car, which we'll probably do again for Monday. We might walk down if the weather's nice. It's not so bad then, it's just when it's raining, it's horrible. I've been soaked every day by one this week and I'm like, ugh, I can't cope with this. So. Oh, she's gonna start again in a minute. I'm not gonna go into her because She'll just want me to get her out of the cot, take her downstairs and watch TV, or cuddle her on the thing and play with her. And She's tired because she was getting silly before we came up and was thrashing around and slapping me. And she only does it when she's tired. But she knows if she can hear me and Paul talking, that's why I talk really quietly on these videos because it's bedtime. If she can hear me, she's more likely to stay awake. So. But I've got to do this video, so I thought, you know, regardless, I've got to do it. I want, I want to do it as well. It's not that I've got to. I want to do it. Um, I just want to get it done. It's Halloween, and uh, if you're looking for something scary to watch, I would recommend um, uh, a channel called uh, Lazy Masquerade. And what else is there? Uh, Fascinating Horror is another good one. They are really, really good. They have some really scary stuff on there. And it's just, with Lazy Masquerade, it's just, mostly it's just stories. So you could just uh, colour and listen to the guy narrating the story. It's really good like that. You don't have to uh, watch it all the time. Sometimes he does put photographs in um, for certain videos, but he doesn't do very often. He likes the story. And it's, it is nice because you can just sit there and you can play a game or you can watch watch it there's not a lot usually to watch on the screen it's more like a podcast so i sit and i tend to sit in color if I, if I feel like it um while i'm watching it and they are quite some of them are really quite scary which is great especially this time of year it's all horror stuff this time of year obviously so the weather's not the best i'm gonna i'm not gonna lie so, yeah, get there. So we've all got things to do. I'm going to start getting, I'm starting to, well, I've been getting ready for Christmas for a while, picking up small things for Jennifer for her Christmas stocking, um, for Santa to bring her. And then uh, we'll get a, Lots of the, I'll get her some Turkish delight because she apparently likes that. She'll eat anything if Grandad eats it, to be fair. <laughs> she really will. She loves anything Grandad has to eat. And, uh, you know. But, uh, she wants to, uh, roaring dinosaur, so. My mum and dad have got her a big cuddly Peter Rabbit. She loves Peter Rabbit. It's the TV series. She hasn't seen the films. She loves the TV series of Peter Rabbit. It was on CBeebies. Absolutely loves it. She's oh, She was watching it this afternoon before bed. She absolutely loves Peter Rabbit. I don't mind. Peter Rabbit's all right. It's better than some of the stuff she watches, like the Japanese man I can't understand. Oh, why she's fascinated with him. I think it's because he, he does do some fun things, to be fair. Some of, the, some of the videos are really good, but it's just very... I'll be honest, I don't understand what some of it is, and nor does she. I mean, when it's the physical and very visual storytelling, it's fine, because you can understand it. But, uh, 
they're very well made, I must admit they are. And then there's another channel she likes called Coco Melon, or another you know, video is Coco Melon, I don't know. Anyway, give me my scary stuff, that's what I want. I want my uh, Jack the Ripper documentaries, and I want my ghost stories, and my shadow people. <laughs> oh, I'm sniffling like there's no tomorrow. Well, there's a bit more sky there. I'll have to get the purple back out in a minute. <laughs> Sometimes that happens. You miss a bit. It's not the end of the world. That's a bit more tree. I think um, lockdown's getting to me as well now. I mean, I don't mind being on my own. I don't mind being in, in but I, it's not seeing my mum and dad gets to me. I mean, to be fair, Paul didn't see his months, mum for months. So, I totally... I know where he's coming from, but... I'm quite close to my mum and dad, so I find it very hard not to... to see them as much as I used to. I used to see them all the time, and I, I don't like not being able to, so... But, uh... Here's what it is. I'm sure I will survive. Now, Jade Summer said they're putting out their chibi books again next month. Um, they're doing a four-in-one book, and they are going to be doing a Chibi Girls Christmas and a Kawaii one. They're putting the Kawaii's out as well. A Kawaii Christmas, and they're going to release them in grayscale, I think, at the same time as the line art, which would be fantastic, because I really want them in grayscale. So... I mean, they got a book out this week, which is gothic tattoos, which I want. But I'm thinking, do I want to wait until they put it out and see if they put it out in grayscale? Or I, I'll just buy it. Because I want it. I haven't ordered it yet. I'm, I've got, I'm going to have to cut back this month. I haven't done much eBay. It's my own fault. I've just not bothered. I've got to, I've got to get back to it. I think it's just sometimes I, I do get down like everybody and the last thing I've wanted to do is be photographing and sitting there listing stuff even I've got some really nice stuff to list and I will get it listed Now, I have got two sales to post. One of them I'm waiting on payment for. I have to check that. I don't think it's been paid for yet. But I'll send a payment reminder tomorrow if it's not paid for soon. What annoys me is I accepted it immediately. So, the offer. So I don't get that. If people make, if you make a, if, if you are sent an offer, I mean, this person made an offer to me and I accepted it, so that's fine. I, I get that he may not have picked the post. I'm assuming it's a guy because it's video games. May not pick up the the message straight away. But when... I don't know. When I send an offer out, because I've, 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 I've um, made offers and, accept, and, and, accept, and been accepted, or, or uh, I've accepted an offer, on something but when I when I, you send an offer out and you accept it it asks you to pay straight away so why don't people just pay straight away I get it if you're waiting for money to come in and that's fine I don't have a problem with that but generally if you you know I, I don't buy stuff unless I've got the money for it if I haven't got the money for it I'll put it in my watch list and if it sells before I get the money that's just tough <laughs> I'm just in one of those sort of I don't understand people moods So there we go. I get the paper back out and then do the rest of the tree. Not the tree, the rest of the sky. This one.
that one. I do like this book. I think it's really cute. But then I think all of April Amber's Chibi Girls are. So. Oops. That's not good. And... Blends back in sometimes. I, I don't know why, but sometimes it, it, it is. So, yeah, this is just a straight colour, bit of fun. I've missed one of her arms as well. I keep doing that. So, just do that. Oh, she's got long hair, isn't she? I didn't realise how long her hair was. And being a bit silly today, it's down here as well. That's a bit of her hair. And that's her hair there. Not my best day today, I'll admit, so. Must be because it's creepy Halloween time and everybody's a bit on edge. Must be. Must be the Halloween thing going on. Fortunately, Jennifer doesn't really know what Halloween or Christmas is yet, so. She's not quite well. She's she'll be three at the end of January. So, oh my God, she's so sweet though. She's like you press the light, the button to make the lights change so you can cross the road, and I go go press the button, and when it you press it, it lights up and it says wait, and she goes, the light comes on. She goes wait, <laughs> like she can read it. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, bloody ads. Sorry, I'm trying to sort out this uh, YouTube it keeps flipping on. Oh, I hate ads. I don't care about TSB. I'm never going to have a TSB account. Uh, see, I hate ads, yeah, I've put them on mine, but then normally it's only because I was trying to sort it out. I, I just mostly let them play. You know, obviously, I, I think the, the best compromise is to have one skippable ad and one non-skippable, and then the person can skip through the the, sec the other one. It's usually the second one, so. Which is, I think, fair. So I hope you don't mind that there are ads on. If you don't like it, let me know, and I'll have to think again about what I'm going to do with the channel. It's just that I just can't keep affording to buy all this <laughs> all these books and uh, things so I need to do something but she's still awake she will be for a while I think oh bless her I do feel for her it's, it's not very nice She's stuck in bed. She can hear me. She obviously can't hear Paul because he's asleep. Well, he's probably asleep. Mind you, she probably could hear Paul because he snores like there's no tomorrow. And uh, so she probably can hear him occasionally. Is that hair at the back? Oh my God, it is. She's got it in pigtails, but she's got really long hair at the back as well. That makes no sense. Sorry, I'm just having a, a flip out about how much hair this chibi girl's got. I'll have to get my uh, yellow out again. I'll just do all the bows. <sighs> I can't believe how red her, how much hair she's got. 
Seriously. All this back here is hair. I'll probably take a five minute break when the camera stops recording at 30 minutes. We've got a few minutes to go yet. Yeah. I'll take a five minute break just so that I can crack on, yeah, just uh, have a drink and stuff. So. This is all hair. It's got to be, it can't be anything else. If it's not, I don't know what it is, so it is now. It's weird that she's got it in pigtails and then she's got lots more as well. Yeah, let's call her Rapunzel. It's weird. But then I'm not an artist, so I'm hopeless at drawing, so I couldn't do it. I couldn't make it look as good as this picture. And it is a pretty little picture, I must admit. I do like it. Just do this arm now that I missed. Oh, yeah. Killing me, she is. Oh, love her heart. My sweet little thing. We'll use pumpkin orange for the oh pumpkins. We start this. We'll start with this one up here, and these two. So This is documentary on BBC One on BBC One Wales on Sunday called Darkland, and it's about uh, Welsh serial killers or Welsh killers. Um, it looks really good, and they're reinvesting. They got an investigation team and looking into into them, so it looks really interesting. It's on quite late, so for us. It's not late really, so we might have to record it and watch it the next day, but it looks really interesting. I mean, I like history and, and police procedural stuff, so... And Paul does like non-fiction, so, he, you know, it's the sort of thing we bo we'd both enjoy. Now, obviously, I obviously follow the Jack the Ripper case particularly, Um because I think it's just because it's interesting because it is so old and it's unsolved and it's there has been so so many theories on the Ripper case that um, and who he was that I just do find it extremely fascinating and um I like to watch documentaries and I like to to read the books. I like looking at old photographs of London. I actually like looking at old photographs full stop of any location. So I've got old photographs of London and Bristol and Los Angeles and all sorts of places. I just like old photographs. I guess that's the photographer in me, isn't it, you know? So I can't take them anymore, but I can certainly look at other people's and that's a good thing. And I will. Hmm. I do hope she goes to sleep soon. <laughs> Poor kid. Ooh. 
so yes there's going to be oh that's all the pumpkins oh excellent um there's gonna be a lot of video filming going on in the next few days because of course it's the end of the month so uh, we've got the general the normal stuff we've got the weekly vlog the flip throughs and coloring chats and then of course we've got what is that no the um Uh, the the end of the month review so we've got the, the halls uh, the colouring book halls and supply halls and then we've got the um, completed pages and there are quite a lot this month there's got a few quite a few patterns mind but there's also just a lot of pictures as well I've also got a lot of whips still on the go but like I said I'm going to just finish those all off at the beginning of the month before I start colouring anything new in. I mean the only time I start... <laughs> okay guys, I forgot what I was saying because, oh, well, it hasn't come back on. There's the on switch. It has come... Oh, I don't know what's wrong today. I'm having a bit of a mare. Uh, it went off. I forgot what I was talking about. I had a little break, had a drink and uh... now we're back to it. Yay! So yes, I do enjoy colouring Chibi Girls in, so I really want to do some in the Chibi Girls Grayscale by Jade Summer book soon. Um, again, I can't wait because I really, li I really like the Grayscale book. It's really nice. Whether I do it online or not is another matter, but uh, we'll see how it goes. I've got so many books to colour, it's unreal. But I, I do enjoy it. I'm not going to lie. Um, it's just something that keeps me calm. I think I'd go absolutely start raving mad if I didn't have my colour in. I really do. I mean, I love my books as well. And obviously next month is November, which on the booktube, which is how I used to start. That's how I started my channel, was making booktube videos. But since I've had Jennifer, I just don't have time to read as much. I was like reading three books a week at one point. I'm now lucky if I read three books a month, although lately I have been reading a bit more and I will be reading tonight. Um, but I, uh, yeah, what is it? November, it's non-fiction November in booktube, so I'm going to read some non-fiction. I usually try uh, in non-fiction November to read uh, one a week, so... And I have got a book on the princes in the tower that I really do want to read. So I got to be honest, it, it's non-fiction all year round for me because I do like non-fiction books. So it's not a big stretch. I do want to get a book on the Kennedy assassination. I really want to read a bit about that. There are so many things I want to read about though. I just like learning. I really don't have time to be bored anymore. I don't think I've said I'm bored for a long time. I mean, I might be bored in work because who doesn't get bored at work? It's it's work. But even then, it's not that bad. And I can remember being, being bored and now I'm thinking, what the hell was I doing wasting all that precious time when I was young being bored for? And I used to read a lot, listen to a lot of music. and Obviously now with Jennifer, I don't have time to be bored. So even when I haven't got anything to do, or I don't feel like colouring and I, and I just sit there and daydream and veg out on my own, I'm not bored. Whereas like 10, 15 years ago, I'd be going, I'm bored now. Now I'm not. I, mean, I might say, oh, I'm bored with colouring Halloween. I don't mean I'm bored in the sense of boredom. It just means that I'm, I'm all Halloweened out. I've done enough Halloween and I'm pretty much there. I have got, like I said, the two in the, the um, Beauty of Horror on the go, which I'm going to keep doing. I am. And I've got one in a book. What book has I got on the go? Is it Jade Summer Chibi Girls Horror? I started one in there last night. And I don't know where the book is. So, uh, try and finish that tomorrow. If I can find the book, it's here somewhere. But I've got a huge stack of books. And I still have got to work on the year in review. There's a lot I've got to do on there. Now. 
next year I'll be quite boring about it and I'll keep because I want to know how many coloured pages I've coloured and how many books I've bought and things like that so next year I'll be really really focused organised and I'll keep a record of how many coloured pages I do every month so I don't have to like really go mad at the end of the year like I have to this year and rewatch all my videos <laughs> Yes. I think if I do one every now and again, or one, one or two a night, it won't take long. I just don't like watching or hearing myself, that's all. Uh, yeah, I'm one of those people, I don't like the sound of my own voice. Yeah, I do a lot of talking. Well, you know how it is. Uh, generally I'm pretty happy about the way things are going. I, I'm really enjoying my colouring. I'm, I'm loving the fact that I've got over a thousand subscribers. I still can't believe it. It's amazing and I do appreciate every single one of you. I know some of you are here for the weekly vlogs and some of you are here for the colouring and some of you watch pretty much anything um, and I'm grateful and I, I'm glad that you enjoy the content enough to watch pretty much everything whether it's a, a flip through or the weekly vlog or a colouring chat or the hauls. It means a lot to me. It, I can't really advise how much it means to me. So, thank you. Thank you, I do appreciate your support and your friendship those of you who I've come to know a little bit off camera offline um, through maybe um, Instagram and Facebook you know off off of YouTube um, thank you very much I do appreciate it. it it is an amazing thing to know you're all out there and you're all really supportive so yeah I really appreciate it. So. I think she's still awake as well. Uh oh, as she would say. So I hope you're all going to watch lots of scary stuff tomorrow. As I said, I'm probably going to watch lots of uh, horror stories on YouTube because that's the kind of stuff I like. I, I, I sort of I love horror movies, and I used to watch loads, but not so much these days. Um, not because I don't enjoy them, it's just that um, I do find that, um, so I'm just looking for a brown, these days horror films are more gory than scary. I like things that play with your mind, you know, I don't, <sighs> gory is just like, oh, alright, do you know what I mean? But if it's something that actually makes me think, for instance, there was a bit, it was, wasn't was a pleasant film, The Ring, for one, it was scary, but it played with your mind. It had a bit of horror, horrible stuff in it, but it did play with your mind because they did that whole thing at the end where the little boy says to Naomi Campbell, whatever her name is, I know, Naomi Campbell. Well, who played the girl in this ring? I can't remember. Anyway, something Campbell, I think her name is, or Naomi somebody, Naomi Watts, I think it was. Showed you how long ago was I watched that film, didn't it? Mm. She, I saw it in the cinema actually. He, she plays the tape. He, she makes him copy the tape because that's the only reason why she survived. She made another tape. She's getting Samara's story out there for more people to die, basically. And he says, "What will happen to the people who watch the tape?" And she looks at him, and then the last thing is, before the film ends, is you see the entire tape flash before your eyes. So you're the last person to watch the tape. And it was very cleverly done. It was quite scary. My friend Fiona, who I went to see it with, she didn't sleep for a week. Um, and every time we saw ring shapes, we were like, oh no. <laughs> it was quite funny, really. So that's the sort of horror film I 
do like. There were some horror bits, horrible bits, like with the, the distorted faces and the way that uh, Samara killed people. Um, but yeah, I like that sort of scary film. Saying that though, Blair Witch Project, that's two hours of my life I'm never getting back. Oh, it was the most dire film. I guess if you'd have seen it in a cinema with a large group of people when it first came out, then I can imagine that it was scary. And to be honest, I watched it um, in a caravan in Cornwall and it was a very stormy night. It was the most stormiest night we've had for ages. So it was it was windy, it was lightning, it was thundering, it was raining, it was horrific. And it still didn't scare me. I was like, really? What the hell is all the hype about on this film? <laughs> I, I just saw it and I didn't get it. Maybe if I'd have seen it in the cinema when it first came out, it would have been a different matter, but I just did not find it scary. Now, a horror film my mum doesn't like, she thinks it's a horror film, it's The Wicker Man. And that would be the original Wicker Man with Edward Woodward in it, not the remake with Nicolas Cage, which I do have and I've never watched it. Are we going to focus? Oh, the battery's going. I'll just change it this over and we'll carry on. We're at 40 minutes already. I know I'm... Okay, that's the battery changed. Back to it. <laughs> Luckily, I've got four batteries for this camera. came with one and I bought a pack of three. Sometimes I do misplace the odd one but uh... so yeah that's, that's the way I am with horror films. Um, yeah my mum hated The Wicked Man, she thought it was horrible but uh, yeah. I've only got the Nicolas Cage version, I've never seen it. I would like to get the Edward Woodward version. I only got the Ed Nicolas Cage version because it was uh, really cheap. I mean, let's be honest, his films have been questionable, but they're just, sometimes they're so dreadful, they're amusing. I do like Nicolas Cage. He's funny. Oh, she's still awake. It's probably my fault. She can probably hear me chattering. And if it's all right for Mummy to chatter, why can't Jennifer? So. We get in there, though. Um, yeah. I'll do this part of her. Yeah. Broom as well. Yeah, no, I'm just looking at something thinking. Um, Yes, I know I'm colouring very, very fast because we're already gone 40 minutes. I normally only do them for 40 minutes. This is going to be about an hour or so, I think, to finish it off. Um, but I do want to finish it off if I can. I do love markers, I'm gonna admit, I started off just pencils and then I bought the Touch 5 markers and I liked them but I didn't use them very much and then I thought I really want to try again and then last October I coloured in Jade Summer's Nightmare book uh, using the markers and I thought yeah I like these but they're drying out because I hadn't used them, probably hadn't stored them very well. So I thought I'll get myself the Arteza Everblends so I got them after Christmas and oh my god was I glad I got those yes I was very glad because they are lovely markers and I've used quite a lot and they're lasting quite well I still got the touch fives they, they, some of those still work and I do use them this is from the touch new skin tones this is terracotta but I thought I'd use it on the roof um,
<laughs> yep, she's still chattering. She will go to sleep soon. I think it's just because she can hear me talking, so... Because she can hear me, she thinks. Oh, Mummy is still awake. She'll come and get me in a minute. Uh, Mummy won't, because you need to go to sleep. And so does Mummy when she finished this video. I'll read for a bit, expert. actually not feeling brilliant now um what's that color sienna um, yeah it's getting a bit late i'm getting i'm getting very tired strange dreams though just lately I've been dreaming about people I used to know in my past like a long time ago occasionally that happens and uh, sometimes I dream I'm back at drama school it's very weird or I'm going back to drama school same drama school doesn't exist anymore but and then I'm doing a postgrad or I'm doing three years again it's very very strange maybe I wish I could go back and do it again who knows and maybe I think oh, I'll do better next time <laughs> You just don't know, do you? But, uh, yeah, it's odd. Sometimes you just you have weird dreams. I mean, I've had very odd dreams in the past. I've dreamt I was Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I dreamt I met Joey from Friends in Burger King and he bought me a cookie. Yeah, don't ask. I dreamt uh, it was the 70s and Elvis Presley was coming to Blackwood and I was alive and old enough to watch him as opposed to being a child. Um, I was born in 74. <laughs> and we met Elvis. So I've had uh, some very strange dreams over the years and I do remember them. I used to write them all down. That's why I can remember them. Sometimes I still jot them down occasionally and I can remember them quite well because of it. But I've also had nightmares. And yeah. Very strange dreams sometimes. I gotta stretch my legs because they're tucked under me and it's they've been there for a while now. So I started reading the book um, Time with Norma Jean and so far I am enjoying it. I have picked up on one error but it's not to do it is to do with Marilyn but it's not to do with Marilyn if that makes sense. So it's set in around 54 when Marilyn is staying with the Greens in Connecticut which is fine. There's a lot of um, comments that Marilyn makes to this girl Darla that are things that Marilyn is known to have said which is good. It means that this person's researched the quotes. But she does say that Marilyn put on a record of Judy Garland singing Who Cares? Which we know was Marilyn's favourite Judy Garland song. At the time of Marilyn's death, she'd play it in the 60s, uh, in 62. Um, and I thought, hang on, this, this record, she didn't record this till the 60s. 
I'm sure she didn't. She didn't, certainly didn't sing it in the early 50s, I'm sure. And I had a quick look, and from what I can gather, Judy Garland sang that song in, or recorded it, the first recording I can find was on the Lattice Entertainment CD, or record, and that was 1960. So, from what I can make out, that's a, that is a, a research error. It's not a major error. It's just one of those things that niggles me, because I am obviously a Judy Garland. Uh, fan as well as a, a Marilyn one. Actually, I love all movies, but I do love Judy. I love her voice. I love her singing. I love her movies. So, uh, yeah, I can uh, I can get annoyed with things like that. So this is the front door. I th I'm thinking it's hard to tell because it's actually behind her, so you can't really see what it is. I'm just trying to finish the picture because we've been going now for. 50 minutes. Oops. It will be probably brown. It'll just be a different shade of brown on there. But it's getting there. So yeah, but other than that, I, uh, that little thing, that's the only thing I've found that jars with me at the moment. I mean, other than that, I'm actually enjoying the book very much. It's very good. Very, very good. Like I said, she has quoted Marilyn quite a lot. And they are quotes I recognise. So that's good. I still haven't finished Mae West, though I'm getting very close to the end. I've only got a few, maybe 40 pages to go. So I'm going to try and finish that this weekend. And then I'm going to really push through the Agatha Christie notes. Because I do want to, I mean, I'm not going to try, I'm not going to use that as my non-fiction one. It's going to take me too long, it's so big. Um, but I am going to start with um, The Princess in the Tower soon. I really, really want to get that book done and read it. So I think it's, it's probably because Jodie Taylor used it as part of her plot for Plan for the Worst, which was the last of the, the last released Chronicles of St Mary's book that came out this year. So um, I think that's probably what it is. I want to read, read it. So. I do love history and biographies. Do the doorway. You do start, you colour, start colouring things, thinking, oh, that'll be fine, I'll just do that. And then suddenly you get. I'm going to use this one just to do the lights in the window. So rather than just do a blue or thing, I'm just going to put yellow in it as if the lights are on, but you can't see through it. Because I'm kind of random that way. Oh, I could go to sleep now. It won't be long. It's when I finish this video, the longest colouring chart I've ever made, I think. It will be by the time I've finished anyway, because we're, you know. Yeah, but it is a Halloween special. Ooh, I know everybody's been doing lots of spooky um, pictures and stuff, so. That's cool. 
cool. We'll be doing lots of Christmas stuff soon. I mean, I know Thanksgiving is in November in, you know, for you guys in the States. Obviously, we don't celebrate that here, but I'm happy to colour Thanksgiving pictures if I've got any. We have fireworks night. Well, don't this year, um, but we have something called fireworks night, which is uh, uh, commemorates the attempt on the Houses of Parliament by Guy Fawkes. And that's why it's called Guy Fawkes night. Apparently Paul's ancestors were involved in that, so he tells me. They had their land and estates seized because they were sheltering one of the um, gunpowder plotters. Or some, or something to do with it anyway. Um, I need a, something like this colour. Yeah, Bumblebee, that's a nice colour for the eyes and the... There we go. So yeah, his family was involved in that, apparently. I think my family were probably just poor. You didn't see that either, did you? I'm just putting this yellow in here because the lanterns, the pumpkin lanterns are lit. Yep, I can hear Paul snoring. He's asleep. That's good. I worry about everybody but myself, and that is my big problem. I worry about Paul sleeping. Obviously, I worry about Jennifer sleeping, and I worry about her being okay through the night and all that stuff. But, yeah, I don't care about myself enough. I mean, it's like I've got trainers that are leaking. So I've ordered, finally, a new pair of trainers. I ordered Jennifer a pair of shoes at the same time because I always make sure she's all right. I, I, don't, I don't think about myself. I buy things like colouring books for the channel, but I don't think about things I might need personally. And that's very silly. I know. I know it's very silly. Um, around the bits here. Right. And then we're gonna use a bit of grey on the cat. Oh, you can't see the cat. I do apologize. It's very dark. His eyes are gonna disappear. side of his face. This is a nice grey. It's called Blush and I really like it. I'm actually going to use it on the path under the stones. There we go. I'm getting in now. And I think I'll do it on these brick stones here. Blocks there. And there that would be one there. That's that. This, not concrete, there's a, a nice grey somewhere. What's that one? Oh, fossil grey. Let's have fossil grey for our stones. I have uh, this one up here. I feel like we're actually getting there now. The ghosts I probably leave white, but I'll just give them black eyes. I won't colour those. 
I've got to do her eyes yet. And I've got the glitter pens out ready for the moon and the stars. about an hour into it now maybe a bit more so this is a long video I'll admit and we're still not finished so I do apologize if you want to go you know you can always um, come back and watch the rest of it later if you don't want to watch it all in one go this is why I usually do them in two half hour or two 40 minute parts or sometimes three parts but I always wanted to do a nice long Halloween one with you and then uh, it's a nice nice way to finish off the month I think she's cute like I said I haven't finished her face yet I've got to do her eyes and stuff I'll do those next Kind of working my way up now. I think we'll give her a grey, use this grey, fossil grey as a frame for the house as well because it's quite a nice colour. And I like to use colours I like. But I won't use it on the windows or on that. Just, just on the frame. From here. go just down here now so yeah I know this is taking a long time but hey it's Halloween I hope you're all right anyway I'm okay if I sound a bit down I'm not down I'm just concentrating on what colour to use next <laughs> I'm fine it's just it's like oh now what colour can I put here what colour can I put here it's a nice colour Da -da. Right. Give her some eyes now. So we'll just put some blue around there. I always find these eyes are very, very weird because they're so big. I find them hard to do. It's just me. <laughs> and then I'll have this one for her mouth. A bit of watermelon. <gasps> there we go. I missed a bit. Where'd that grey go? Is it that one? No, it was fossil, wasn't it? That one. I missed a bit. I can't believe I missed a bit here. Oh, you. There. Like I said, that's that bit done. Right, we'll do the window frames now. I'm going to use a darker blue. That's what I'll do for the window frames. I think it's probably the same colour as her eyes actually. It looks quite similar. Nice colour though. believe it's November soon well tomorrow when you see this it's gone I mean considering we haven't been able to do much this year the year's gone very fast do you know what I mean it's gone so quickly I just don't know what to, to think I think she's got the door open actually I'm not sure do we think she's going out trick-or-treating I think she is she hasn't got a little bucket though I expect her mum's her mom's gonna her mum is gonna come running out in a minute and say, You forgot your basket, honey. Where are you gonna put all your candy? Sorry, excuse my bad accent. Where are you gonna put all your candy, darling? 
I love it's got they got little flags up there as well. It's so cute. Nice decorations. I know a lot of people have really gone mad decorating their houses for Halloween this year, which I think is quite fun. I don't bother, but Jennifer doesn't know what it is. If she really, really gets into it and wants to, we, we'll get a few decorations. But. Here we go. Right now, that's that bit. We have nearly finished. There's not too much to go yet. Now. Yeah, it looks like the door's actually open or something, so. I can't really see what's behind her, but another light blue. Use this one. We'll have a different colour blue for the, where the cat is. So this looks like it's a frame of a door. So that would be as well, and so would that, and most of that, I would say. But it's hard to see what it is, and then I'll do the, there's a little square there, I'll do that yellow, because that's the light coming out. That's the frame of the door as well. Only thing I've got to do on this half now is that little bit like that there and those. Let's just do this bit under the window. Uh, we'll nearly finish, it won't be much over three hours long. Singing Christmas carols and singing in the bleak midwinter. We're not that far into it yet. <sighs> I used Bumblebee, didn't I, for the um, lights? I think. Yeah. Do you know what's terrible? I think I'm getting hungry. <laughs> Little pale pink here for the. Uh, Yes. There we go. And we'll have um, dark red flags, I think. And you do the top of that as well. Just because I'm not very good on bunting. We don't really use it a lot over here. If we do, it's just usually got the union flag on it. Oops. <laughs> got pen all over my thumb. Now we need to do the apples, so we want a nice red. We just use red. I'm just going to colour them as they are. So They do look like they've got patches on them and stuff, but... Uh, nice red apples on the tree, apples on the tree, apples on the tree. I've got nice red apples on the tree, will you eat that apple with me? Apple, apple, eat with me. I like an apple from my tree. I'm just making up random rubbish. You can just carry on and ignore me. Uh, I know they're little leaves, really. They should be green. But hey, it's Halloween. They can be any colour I want them to be. The Halloween one I'm... Well, the Jade Summer's Chibi Girls one, I'm doing a witch. And she's a green witch. And she's wearing black outfits, so that's pretty traditional, but I'm going to do the background in all sort of freaky colours, like an orange sky, and uh, red grass, and uh, blue trees, and pink leaves, and, and so on, because that's the way I rock and roller. Right, nearly there now. We're just going to do the eyes and noses on these two ghosties make them. I'm just going to leave those white actually because that's horrifying. Oh dear. 
that one's not happy. Right, put that back. Right, let's get the, the gels out now. Oh, what's that? Oh, what's that pink one I use for the cat seeds? Right, there's the gold. Where's my silver? Any silver will do. That's the silver. Yay! We're nearly there. So she can have a gold buckle on her hat. And then we'll do this star up here gold. This is Link Shine Gold. I'll go and check on her in a minute. She's fine, it's just because she can hear me talking to you guys and then I'll just do this. I don't know what set this has come from. <laughs> okay the recording stopped again that means we're well over an hour now. We're about an hour and ten. So you can hear Jennifer shouting in the background. I will go and sort her out after I finish this. She's fine. It's just because she can hear me chattering and she wants to, to know what's going on I would imagine. Naughty mummy. So I'm just going to finish this now because we're right at the end. Oh, love a heart. It's only because she can hear me. Oh, love her. Right, and I've just got to do these stars and the top there and we're finished. Hooray! And then you can go if you haven't already. I'm probably just talking to myself now. It is long, so I don't, you know, I don't blame you if you haven't watched it all. If you have watched, watched it all, let me know down in the comments below, because that's always fun. Even if you don't watch it all in one part. Right, now I really am rushing, because I want to go and check on her, make sure she's okay. Only two stars to go. And like I said, I'm leaving the ghosts white. They they kind of cute. I'll just do this. Sometimes she'll shout like that, and then she'll she'll go to sleep. It's because she's about to fall asleep, and she's trying to keep herself awake. So, Paul's still snoring. See, even if I was asleep, I'd be the one that would have to get up and see to her. It's not easy being a mummy, but I guess most of you know that. Those of you who've got kids, anyway. To be fair, he's good as gold with her all the time. She couldn't ask for a better daddy. Okay, I think we're done. I'm just going to pull this up a bit, pull this up a bit, and I'll show you what we did today. There, we actually have finished it. Like I said, I'm not going to colour the ghosts in. I think they look fine white. Very colourful little house with a very colourful little witch. I hope you've enjoyed this extremely long colouring chat. If you have, give it a big thumbs up for me. Leave me a comment down below if you did watch it all through. And if you couldn't watch it all through, let me know as well. That's fine. I, I do understand. It's a long video. Anyway, happy Halloween, everybody. Enjoy... Um, the holiday as much as you can with whatever the circumstances are wherever you are and i'll see you in november bye